thought you were going to build my name really big in the distance. Oh, your name? Yeah. Build my name. Well, anyway, guys, this is uh, Wicked Tricks here. Yeah. Now that you know my YouTube name. It's Fellow Son. Yeah. But, oh, I can't name my YouTube name, man. That's just weird. Yeah, but we're going to show you how to build a fusion reactor with me and uh, whatever he wants to be called. I'm saying a lot. So, yeah. The Dark this, Knight. This, yeah, Dark Knight. <laughs> Okay, so this is what you're gonna end up building. It looks really complicated. Not really. Not. It looks. I built it. It looks simple. <laughs> it's more complicated than it looks, actually. No. It looks simple. And, uh, See, but. Yeah. <laughs> I was okay. going to say something, but that can wait for you're later. Gonna it. You're gonna build it, and I'm just gonna watch. Well. So anyways, these are the materials you're going to need. Everything I have in my inventory here. You're going to need this electromagnet, this electromagnetic glass, fusion reactor, water bucket, uh, redstone energy conduit, electric turbine, smooth, you, you can use anything, really, um, and lead stone energy cell, and you're most probably going to want to make these resonant energy cells. Or any kind of energy cell. It's just a backup in case it stops working. You don't want all your power to go out, do you? Anyway. Actually, that, that has to power it. What has to power it? it? It the fusion reactor has to receive power for it to turn on. No, I was just. Talking but about just the just for power. future, just <laughs> just for accuracy, in case you're low on materials, for the electromagnetic glass, you need 26 electromagnetic glass. You need four. Wait, what? No, four or five. Wait, one, four, four. five times. So you need 20 turbines, 20 turbines. one turbine. fusion reactor, whatever. <sighs> yeah, one of these fusion reactors. You oh, need science. eight electromagnetic ag electromagnets yeah. for the middle, and then... You need some water buckets. <laughs> eight for the middle, and then we need more for the outside dome. He's over there counting. Dude. You need somewhere around 25 for the outside. <laughs> it don't matter. I might have messed up that count. Build it in but. creative. And then you need some... Build it in creative and count yourself. <laughs> and then you'll need a lot of water. Not quite this much. But yeah, you will need a bit of water. And a lot of redstone energy conduits. If yeah. you want to power everything. You'll need... Well, depending on how far away your base is. And how far away everything you're powering is. There's actually is. other things you can do, use. If but you as want. you can see... From these three resonant energy cells fully charged, holding 50,000 each, 50,000 RF each. We've only had this on for a couple minutes, and they're all three full already. As well as the leadstone energy cell that's powering this. Well, yeah, it's, it's almost not full. That big, it's, it's almost full, anyways. Using power. It's using power, so it has an excuse to be slow. Uh, yeah, so. so now we're going to build it. So, in my fancy little crystal chest here, I have everything that you need. This fancy little device right here that I'm clicking on over here. Uh, I have that one. The reactor <laughs> cell is also over here. What? This is over here. Yeah. That's how, that's you, build how you build the reactor cell. And if you need to, uh, if you don't so know how to build something in here, just real click quick, over here. You can click the on advanced these things, circuit. Blah, 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 Wait, and you'll find out how to click quick, everything. Too fast. Back to the chest. <laughs> so real quick, just go over. You have two advanced circuits and two advanced motors circuits. for the reactor cell. Mm -hmm reactor cell and then and then you have four advanced or no elite elite yeah elite yeah. circuits with four steel plating and the reactor cell yeah, for the, the fusion reactor. reactor fusion reactor with the turbines you need 20 turbines 20 turbines you just have four bronze plates surrounding a motor very simple right. and i ran out of room for the electromagnet glass but it's down it's down yeah down there yeah, you, just, you just need an electromagnet next to some glass very very simple right there no i just had an extra one there happy now <laughs> yeah both take them away 
So um, this is just extra stuff. These resonant energy cells, it's just extra stuff you might want. Four is a good number because it can power four pretty easily. Just putting one deuterium stack of deuterium cells. cells. And you need the deuterium cells to power it. You'll need the you just right water buckets. On, you're going to have to right click on the fusion reactor with those. Yeah. And for the electromagnets, you surround a motor in either iron or bronze. You can't do both like it's seen here. But you can either use... You can probably do both. No, you can't. So it's either like that. Yeah. Or... Like that. Like that. Either way works just fine. Kind of appears on the screen. Yeah, so... So that's all you need for this. Show them how to build this? Yeah, we can show them how to build this. Are you sure? Are you sure they're if, worthy? I don't know if you can, to build it? but I can. So, so like, let me just grab area over here. all of my instruments here. Let me these deuterium cells Options, for later. Inventory, uh, cheat mode. Because cheating is fun. And your test. No, not your test. Don't cheat on your test. You literally could have just typed times that day. Yeah, just I would have been a lot quicker. <laughs> I'm on fire now. <laughs> you deserve to be on fire. I mean... How did you get creative? on fire? Because I was in surviving. You know, I'm just gonna skip. I put the zombies out so they can chase you faster. <laughs> so they don't, they don't have to worry about dying now. <laughs> Come on. I'm just gonna edit out that part. Or slash butcher when you need it. All right, guys, cut out that part. All right, so, so what we're gonna do now? You don't have to build it above ground, but I like to build it above ground because you're gonna have to have a wire beneath it. Yeah. So you're gonna start with your fusion reactor. Easiest. So you don't have any deuterium, so above it, it's going to tell you that you don't have no any deuterium. deuterium. No deuterium. You know why? Because you don't have any deuterium. Okay. It's not lying. So now you need to put around this the electromagnets Make sure they're right, right here next and not to it like out here cuz yeah. messed up. I don't know what happens if you put them out there but <laughs> it's probably bad. Yeah, plasma. Yeah, pro probably. Not the best so thing now what you're going to do right next to that is use the electromagnetic glass yeah. above and below and then you can delete that. Yeah. And you're going to go around once again above it there. and beneath it. Whoops. This there's two layers over here. These building the top layer, I built most of the bottom layer, I guess. So then, and then, you're going to leave that space open, and have another round of electromagnets around that. Like so now, hey, yeah. so now, whenever you build your deuterium, or whenever you put your deuterium into the fusion reactor, and you turn it on, fusion is going to start forming in, be in the empty space between. Now, I'm going to tell you something Real quick here, I'm gonna go over here to just show you. Okay. I'm gonna show you why you wanna make sure before you turn it on that you do not have anywhere that you forgot to put anything. Yeah, don't. You forget. ready? Oh, that. See, might because this quick. stuff expands. Uh, that's gonna. Yeah, and it just kind of blows holes in the ground. Oh, no, go away. Yeah, see, go and you away. can't stop it. There we go. You're completely powerless. It stopped. And sometimes yeah. it'll make radioactive materials in the ground. I don't see any radioactive ground any? around, but... Probably wasn't long enough. Uh, I think I glitched into the ground. Fire. That was weird. Floating flowers. So yeah, usually what it'll make fire is this... Here, I'll place it. Just to show you That's what it looks scary. like. Is this radioactive scary material scary. right here. Where? This radioactive material oh, right here. That's that. usually what it makes around here. I'm sure this hurts if you stand on it in survival. It yeah. makes sense. I'm gonna firefighter. So now, I let's go back to our Don't fusion ever reactor. Give me the job of putting out fires. Yeah. Yeah, back over here. You don't want that to happen. Yeah, definitely don't want that to happen, especially yeah. if you're building this near your base, which is why usually when I'm building it, I yeah. choose to do it away from my base. If you want to come under here, you can go and place that wire. You don't really need it. I'm pretty sure there's other well, types of wires. Well, you will need it eventually. You can experiment and see if there's any other types and what of you're wires actually... you can put under there. Well, you yeah. can use any of the energy you conduits. To be powered. Yeah, <laughs> you need what you're going to have to do before you do that is power that. It helps. Oh, I had radiation. Because we will want it to be powered. Creative energy cell. Some Never point. heard of that. Yeah, it's got an infinite charge. Okay. I don't know why I used that. That's just the first one I clicked. Let's use I it. I have. Yeah. Do you have the 
Leadstone. Leadstone is lead? probably your best. Leadstone? Yeah, Leadstone. I'm so, sorry. by the way, the way you power this, if you power these, by the way, don't try to do what I did the first time I tried this. See, because originally I tried to place these on the ground, charge them with the reactor, and then pick them up. That doesn't work. If you break that after after it's charged, it loses its entire charge. What you have to do is you have to use an energetic infuser. And you put it in the energetic infuser, which you can power with this, by the way, and it charges it. It charges the cell for you, and then you can place the cell. Energy. Once again, if you break it, though, then it runs out of power. If you want to know how to use it, yeah, whatever. But, yeah, so... Up here we need some turbines. So now, right? what we're going, well, we're not that far yet. Uh, First no. we have to build this little ditch at which our water will be in. You're building this differently than we did. I'm building it right. That's all I know. <sighs> of course. Ah. It's because when you did it, you did it in a very unnecessary way. This is basic stuff. I use sandstone. You can use whatever you want around here, by the way. It doesn't matter what you use around here. Obviously. As long as it's not sand, because obviously sand will fall, and it won't work very well. Sandstone looks better, though. This material looks better. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to fill this little ditch here with water. And then you're going to take your turbines. Turbines. And you're going to put them... Whoops. Uh... Are you around sure this, will work? this. What do you mean? Am I sure this will work? Yeah, this might not work. It's gonna work. What do you mean it might not whatever. work? That's how it works. So with these, for whatever reason, the three on the corner don't actually work, ever. Three on the corner. Yeah. So if you wanna. Which is why you should. So if them you're on. down, if you don't have the proper materials, if you wanna put them there, that's fine. Just make it look nicer. But if you don't have the proper materials, then. Don't put them there. Save your resources. So now what you're going to do is you're going to connect all the turbines with like the this. energy conduit. You have to connect those as well, by the way. Yeah, you got to connect them together. Yes. Yes, you do. Are you going to help me? Or? Nope. I'm going to watch. Thanks. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Just cut this part out. You would do it the boring way. Oh, you want to delete mine? I'll delete yours. It doesn't even matter, actually, because that's fine right there. Alright, yeah, so... This so is now... Fine. You don't have to connect this... What you want to do... It doesn't really matter as long They're as it's all connecting. It's so, so now what you want to do... Is you want to loop this back around. Because in order for it to... Make... Excuse you. Yeah. Is this has to be sending power to the reactor constantly so now it will never run out it is physically impossible for this reactor to run out of power so now what we're going to do is we're going to place you got resonant some resonant cells here and we are going to connect them and now i'm going to go put deuterium you get these deuterium cells they look kind of like this thing that i'm holding right here Mainly because they are this thing that I'm holding right here. Do you yeah. see them? The yeah, the right cells. here. Yes. Did you just set those it's to output? D E U. Yes. Very confusing. D E U, not D E T. Which, D -E -U, by the way, whatever. Deuterium cell. Oh, I'm gonna show you there. just how ridiculously well this energy works. It'll it's going to work. obliterate the other set reactor, the so I'm going to move to, it over uh, here. So yes, you have to set the output. By the way, the orange one, when you're it's, clicking there, is the output. The blue is the input. The tan means it's not doing anything and it's completely worthless. Yeah. So I'm putting them all in orange real quick. And, yeah, I'd probably connect the wires. Probably the best way. Top. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard whenever you have two people doing this. But crystal chest is what I would go with if you're in creative. Yeah. I would but definitely. Don't matter what chest you can just place that on top of yeah. the quarry. Since this isn't a quarry tutorial, we won't show you how to do that part. So, yeah. so now what we're going to do? I'm going to the take these rods and I'm going to put them in my reactor. Just right click. Which, as you can see, plasma. causes the plasma to start forming. Now the turbines are spinning because the water is being heated up. So now, if we come over here, we can watch these redstone resonant energy cells. 
As you can see, they're already up to two. This one's already at 2.5 million. That one's at 2.9, 3 million now. And that yeah. one's at 3 million as well. Like, so as you can see, they're people. charging very quickly. They're also causing these quarries to go very quickly. Well, don't connect that one. I wanted to show them what an average quarry would look like. Oh, yeah. Uh, Average quarry still speed. Powered. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it takes a little while sterling. to run out of power. So uh, just Here, break it. Play some sterling engines. Go with combustion engines just to see, show them how much faster it is than combustion engines. Oh, yeah, put some combustion engines down and we'll show them how fast that normally is. It's degenerating itself as we speak. It does that. So I'll just put the combustion engine down as here. As you can see over here, it's like. What is it? It's like all the way to stone now on our super flat world. And uh, stone is always at the same level. If you want to. Yeah, that's not going to find anything but stone because of our flat world. Here, play some you know, lever. Double mine but everything. I don't think it actually goes faster. I think it does. I think it does. Leave in the comments. Does it go quicker? Oops. Bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just place that. Put a lever here. Lever we'll here. Figure this out eventually. Put some lever there. Put some lever? Yeah, some lever. Yeah. And fuel. So fuel. I'm not going to worry about putting the water on because, well, for one, it doesn't matter if they explode in two, they're not going to have enough time to explode. Yeah, so this is about how quick and normal. So as you can does. see, it's even though blocks. even though the quarries do not go faster with more than one, no matter how many combustion engines you have on there, they go just as fast as having one. It's going considerably slower than the other one, which yeah. is balling out. Like I probably already found diamond by now, right? You're not that low. Oh, hey, look, there are ores here. I didn't think it spawned ores. Yeah, it spawned ores. Oh, flat ores. So, you found you found some coal. Yeah, it's definitely not that, that low enough. Or you can just watch. You can uh, grab this over here. Or you can uh, just get rid of this crap just and uh, connect this. just connect it and watch and that one speed up. See, see as you can speed. see, it got a whole lot faster. It'll find diamonds five minutes flat, bedrock, whatever you want. And I guess that's going to do it for um, whatever we're doing. Not a fusion tutorial. It's still working. Got plenty of deuterium. Still got half the amount of deuterium that we put in it. Oh no, actually no, that one has more. I was looking at the wrong four. reactor. <laughs> yeah, that's the other one. That one's probably takes a lot less material. That one's not using it. I don't know. But anyways, we'll see you next time. Whatever we're doing next time. This is... Uh, wicked tricks, fellas, so an IX, baby IX, uh, There's only the two Dark of us. Knight. It's all of us. We're all together. Like Eminem, Marshall Mathers. Marshall does not matter. <laughs> no. As his song, Anyways, Marshall Mathers, uh, says, strong, he does not matter. Stay wicked. Not stay wicked. I'm not sexy for that. Alright. You're not Eminem. You can't tell people to stay wicked. <laughs> you can stop it now. Stop it now.